Welcome to another episode of This Is My Architecture. We're live here in Sydney. There's a great buzz here in the auditorium and it's great to be here. With me today is Josh Lopez. Josh, you're the distinguished engineer of cloud migrations at Versant. Fantastic to have you here. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Could you uh, tell us a little bit about what Versant does, please? Sure. So Versant's a premier consulting partner of AWS. We've got our AWS competencies in migration, security, and DevOps. We've also just recently received our managed service provider status, and we're really, really passionate about delivering outcomes for our customers. Awesome, so one of those important outcomes for customers is migrations, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Can you walk us through or draw us through this architecture that we've got on the board, please? Sure, so this architecture came about uh, three years ago when we were manually migrating servers from, from on-premises to AWS, and it was taking about three or four hours. Mm -hmm. So we decided to actually deliver this through automation, and it first starts with agents getting installed. First, the application discovery service is installed the on-premises server. This really gives us the uh, inbound and outbound TCP connections. Mm -hmm. So that's we, metadata around the, the on-premises instances? Sure, and yep. it also provides us with performance utilizations to give us the instance types that we need to provision in AWS. Okay. We then deploy the Cloud Endure live migration agent as well. And this is volume replication. So it's block by block replication from the on-premises server to AWS. So it's really making sure that it's continuously replicating across. We've actually had customers test this product by putting a file deep in the file system. Yep. And when it moves from, from on-premises to AWS, that file actually still exists. So we've awesome. got Okay, so we've got our metadata around those on-premises uh, servers and we've got the data replicated into AWS. What's driving that? What's integrating with that? Sure, so we've got DynamoDB and effectively what we've got here is the migration team filling DynamoDB with actually metadata. So this is operational information. So RTOs, RPOs, business, so the infrastructure owners, the business owners as well, really giving uh, the actual tags that will be placed on, on the EC2 instance, also the target account. Yep, the, the subnet, the IP as well. And that's all over here in that, the, the target account. Yep. That's the target account effectively, yeah. So we've gathered the, the TCP connections, we've got the replicated data, and we've also got the tags that will live on that server. Okay, and what are they actually interfacing with here? What's this instance doing, the migration factory itself? So the migration factory effectively is, is the, the a thing that moves the server from on-premises to AWS. Mm -hmm. It does all the integrations. So it's kicked off from Slack. So the migration team will issue one command, that then effectively talks to the EC2 instance. So it's calling an API on so there. So it calls yep. the API in the EC2 instance. Effectively, that then starts the migration. So from there, the EC2 instance will talk to the application discovery service to gather the TCB inbound and outbound connections. Mm -hmm. It will also talk to Cloud Endure. And again, these are just API calls to these those are all, services. Yep. These are all API calls. Cloud Endure will then effectively stop the replication. So that replication is then stopped. Yep. From there, the EC2 instance, or the migration factory, will then bake the AMI. Yep. And that's another uh, just API call. That's another AWS API, API call. So we've got yep. the hot replicated instance, so making sure that the data that was on on-premises is now living in an AMI. Yep. From there, we effectively share that AMI across to the target account. Yep. Using the metadata that lives in DynamoDB, so we know exactly which target account that needs to live in. And then once effectively that, that is shared, it's shared through encryption as well, Yep. we then start that instance. And at that point, you're applying all of your sizing and your firewall rules, your metadata that was stored in DynamoDB, is that Co right? Correct, yeah. So we've got the instance type in there, we've got the specific IP address, we've also got the specific tag. So we're making sure that every server that goes across into AWS has a set, a set tag of around 10, 10 tags, which really yep. describe that, that specific server, and we understand exactly what that server is. Awesome, so you've gone from a state where it was taking four hours per instance to how long did you say? It takes about 10 minutes, so moving from on-premises now through all this entire flow, it's yep. about 10 minutes to get across. So where next for this? So effectively what we've got is, uh, AWS has actually acquired TS TSO Logic, and that gives us the instance types. Effectively for us, we want to then grab those instance types and place those in DynamoDB, and then use those to actually drive the instance type that get actually launched. So we're not actually using the performance metrics out of Discovery Service, we're using those out of TSO Logic. Awesome. Josh, thank you so much for coming and sharing your architecture with us and telling us how you're helping customers to migrate in a more faster and robust fashion. Thanks very much for tuning in to another episode of This Is My Architecture. And now, back to the desk.